what's up people piz out here and today i want to talk to you about 2001's frailty as requested by movie club member willie pinner over on my patreon one night a man walks into an fbi field office in texas claiming he knows who's responsible for the god's hand killings a long-running series of religiously motivated murders throughout texas and then regales the agent with quite the coming of age story a story in which his single father, played by the late, great Bill Paxton, claims that he's been selected by God to dispatch demons on Earth as the end of days draws nigh. And dispatch them he does, lots and lots of demons, with his trusty axe named Otis and his young sons, Fenton and Adam, by his side. Back in 2001, I was hyped for this movie. I've always been a big fan of Bill Paxton as an actor, so the fact that he was starring in and directing a horror movie just put me over the moon. Frailty was also receiving rave reviews from mainstream critics, which is odd for a horror film. As a matter of fact, Roger Ebert gave the film a perfect four-star rating, and I do believe it was number one on his end-of-the-year best-of list. And Frailty definitely lived up to the hype for me. I remember seeing the film in the theater and just being absolutely blown away by it. But I haven't seen the film in its entirety in many years. So when Willie requested that I review it, I jumped at the opportunity. First and foremost, Bill Paxton. Bill Paxton. Every time I see Bill Paxton in a movie these days, I'm just reminded of what a talent we lost when he passed away. But Frailty gives me the one-two punch in the feels because although he's great in the film as an actor, Frailty also shows what a talented director he was. And it's such a crying shame that he didn't have the opportunity to direct more. Paxton shows a steady hand behind the camera with an emphasis on moody atmospherics. Paxton also delivers a fine performance here, credited simply as Dad Meeks, a man who is visited by an angel who informs him that he's been handpicked by the Almighty to slay demons. But these demons look and act just like ordinary people. Fenton struggles with his father's newfound calling because of this. He's torn between his love for his father, and Paxton plays a very loving father here, but Fenton, and deservedly so, questions his sanity and the safety of his younger brother Adam. Adam, on the other hand, is gung-ho about taking down demons. He even claims that the people reveal themselves as demons after his dad lays hands upon them. The fact that Dad Meeks includes his sons in the killings, as if grooming them to eventually wield Otis the axe themselves, creates some nice moments of tension. Particularly when Fenton is forced to remain down in the storm shelter until God speaks to him. Eventually, Fenton's lack of faith becomes a greater and greater issue. Will his name soon appear on Dad Meek's list of demons? Frailty is a moody, tense, and twisty thriller. It's well-written, expertly directed, and features fantastic performances from Paxton and his young co-stars, Matt O'Leary and Jeremy Sumter. Matthew McConaughey delivers a very strong supporting performance, as does the great Powers Booth, who is also, unfortunately, no longer with us. Frailty is a great thriller. There is no doubt about it. It definitely holds up and absolutely deserves multiple viewings. If you've not seen Frailty, I cannot recommend it any higher. Go and watch Frailty. Huge shout out to Movie Club member Willie Pinner for requesting that I review Frailty. Thank you for your request and thank you for being a patron. I appreciate your support. If you'd like to have a say in what movies I review on this channel, follow the link in the description or head over to patreon.com forward slash pizal and join the movie club today. If you've seen Frailty, please let me know your thoughts on the film down in the comments section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. A big thank you to all my awesome Patreon supporters. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and join me for monthly live streams and have a say in what movies I review on my channel patreon.com forward slash pizal or follow the link in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.